Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today I'm gonna do some cleaning up and reorganization of my Godzilla room, okay? So we'll take a look at our Takara Tomi prehistoric animals and also dinosaurs, okay? It's because the box are all extremely dirty and old, you can see right over here. Um, so what we will do today is basically to open up all the figures and place them into a box which is similar to this one right here and just place them over here, okay? To save space as well as to clear off all these boxes, okay? So it's gonna be a long video, so let's get right into it. Let's go. Okay guys, so what you see right here is basically my entire collection of Takara Tomi dinosaurs, okay? Um, they are not Jurassic World dinosaurs and prehistoric animals, rather um, they are. Takara Tomi NEA dinosaurs over the years. This is basically my entire collection. But I feel we don't need to keep them in the boxes anymore because we'll be getting a new shelf to be placed right here very soon, okay? So what we'll do today is basically to unbox every single one of them because all the boxes are extremely old and dusty. And we'll temporarily put them into this box right here before we actually get another shelf, okay? So let's do this. Okay guys, so let's begin. The first one right here is actually a Fukusaurus, I think. Fukusaurus, let's see. Fukusaurus, right over here. So let's open this. As you guys can see, the box is extremely old. This is actually a very, very beautiful um, dinosaur figurine. So you can see. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And the dinosaur figure is a little bit like dirty as well. So we need to clean this up later on as well. And here are um, basically you know, some facts about the dinosaur. So we'll take a look at them, like maybe later on. Just throw away the box first. Next, this one looks, um, I think this is like the first figure, the very first figure from Takara Tomi. It is actually a T-Rex. Yeah, as you guys can see, it is actually known as AL01, which is, um, you know, NEA number one, I think. So let me just get this out of the box. So this figure, yeah, it's it's quite a long, it's quite an old figure for sure. So yep, let's throw away the box. We also have a prehistoric animal right here, which is um the woolly mammoth. You know, it also comes with a baby. So this is basically the adult woolly mammoth, as you guys can see. It is basically a prehistoric elephant. Um yeah, it was living in the very very cold temperatures, which is why you can see it has like thick coat of fur and this is basically the the baby woolly mammoth so I'll put this right here and i'll throw away the box and here it's the smaller dawn smaller dawn and a homo nidatalensis which is a um, prehistoric man as you guys can see yeah it's a really really beautiful figure so it comes with a rock so you can actually uh, like attach oops attach this to um the back of the feet like this to provide some um, stability uh, and you can actually display this figure like this very cool and of course it comes with the smaller dawn I think the smaller dawn is um, a very very beautiful figure I've not seen this figure for a long time guys a very long time so after this I'm going to take like a you know a wet wipe to clean it up this is basically from um, what is this? The Good Dinosaur, which is a Pixar movie and is known as Bob Bar. Hopefully, I can remember the name in um, months to come. Hopefully. Okay, there you go. This is basically Bob Bar. Alright. I'm gonna put this Bob Bar. I don't think this Bob Bar is able to stand. Yeah, I don't think so. So, you need to balance it against its tail, which I think is still okay. Yeah, it can't really stand. So yeah, you could try your best to like balance it, I guess. Next, we have a Velociraptor. As you guys can see, this is a um, green Velociraptor. Let's get this out. Yeah, all the figures have a like a sticky feel to it. I have no idea why. Probably because we have kept them for like too long, maybe. And here is a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> and um, yeah, off comes the head. 
I think I need to get a wet wipe, it's really really very sticky. Okay, so that's the Brachiosaurus for you. Let's see what else we've got. I'll put this one right here. So let's open this, the Stegosaurus. This is also a um, very old figure, I would say. Extremely old. Let's get this up from the pack. This is also a little bit sticky, so let me just clean this up. So this is basically known as the Roof Lizard. Do you guys know why it's known as a Roof Lizard? Because when paleontologists discovered the fossils, they thought the plates were actually lying sideways, you know, on its body, like, you know, the tiles on the roof, which is why they um, call it a roof lizard. I'm still kind of um, annoyed that um, this figure is not able to stand. Hopefully it can stand right now. Yeah, I think I have kept it too long in the box, and the legs have actually warped. Another prehistoric animal, so this is actually a Futabasaurus. Futabasaurus, which is a um, elasmosaur. Yep, it's actually a prehistoric marine reptile. So let's get this out of the bag. Beautiful one, I would say. Let's clean this up. This one is slightly cleaner. It's not as sticky as um, the previous figures. Let's open this. This is a quadrupedal Spinosaurus, you know, walking on four legs. Very beautiful figure. Let's get this out. This figure, it's um, relatively clean, I'd say. You can see there's a bit of dirt on the web wipe already. So the cleaning definitely um, have some effect, for sure. I'm gonna get a new piece of web wipe. Okay, the next figure, it's actually a feathered Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one is actually a um, slightly newer version. It's still pretty old. I think this was like probably like at least like five years ago. I'm not too sure. So Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is basically a feathered one. Feathered one as in you can see feathers on his body. You know, there's um, you know, one or two layers of feathers on his body. Pretty cool. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is a Carnotaurus. I'm going to throw away the box. Let's get this out. This figure is also a little, you know, I, I just removed my plaster because I cut myself while doing an unboxing. Yeah, so guys, please, please be really careful when you're like opening like figures. Don't be like me. Sometimes I can get pretty callous and I cut myself quite easily. Yeah, that's a Conotaurus, and this is basically the Bob Bar. So when I get my new shelf, I will definitely display all of this Takara Tomi figures. You know, I'm gonna put this line down. Pteranodon, okay, nice one. So this Pteranodon actually comes with a Coelocanth, which is a fish. So this is a Pteranodon, this one is also slightly dirty, so let's just clean this up. I think we have um, not taken this figure out for such a long time. Yep, so this fish, I don't think this fish belongs to this um, prehistoric animal, don't think so. Next, let's open this Styracosaurus. Check whether there are any cards inside this. Oh, there is. So perhaps we might have missed out all the cards. I'm not too sure. Let's see. So let's get this Directosaurus out. This is a relatively new figure, guys. Yeah, pretty new one. Okay, and here it's a Mosasaurus. This is also considered a um, pretty new figure. Yeah, it's very nice. I would say this is a very, very nice figure. And it also comes with an Ammonite, which is a prehistoric sea animal. Oh, it comes with some cards as well. Just gonna remove the cards if I see them. I don't think all of them have cards in this box. Let's get this Parasaurolophus out as well. 
Yep, there are two cards. I think I've left the cards for the newer version in this box, but not the older one. The older ones, I think I've um, I've I think I still have some of them. So this is Parasaurolophus, which is known as the Near Crested Lizard, and Kylosaurus. Oh, there are two Ankylosaurus. How is that possible, guys? Oh, I, 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 I know, because one of them doesn't have a box. Yep, one of them doesn't have a box. So let me just remove this. Very nice. I think this, um, I'm not too sure whether this was actually from um, Jurassic World series. I don't think so. I don't think this was from Jurassic World, but you can see the figures from Takara told me it's um, actually very beautiful. Okay. Off the road is away. Triceratops, this is one of the um, earlier figures. Okay, you can see this AL02, which technically is the second figure from the um, NEA series. So these are actually quite you know, considered vintage figures, I would say. Okay, next one, it's actually a, um, what is this? Fukui Raptor. Let's get this out. I'm not sure whether we have the cards for this. So let's have a look. Oh, we do have, it's right here. This figure is relatively clean and very, very new. Yeah, I'm gonna take some photos later on, okay? I think it was, it's gonna look really, really good. Next, let's open this. You can see the box is like super old. This is basically like a um, electronic figure, which is supposed... Not too sure whether it's still working, guys. Hopefully. Wow, you can see there is like a lot of uh, moisture around this figure. Yeah, it's still working. Pretty cool. I'll get another piece of wet wipe because this figure it's filthy. Can you guys hear the roar? It's very very faint, but it's still working, which is um very very amazing. Okay. All right. Let's open this. This is basically the good dinosaur. I think, if I'm not wrong, this is known as Butch. Yes, it is. So get this out. Oh, this figure, it's a beautiful figure. Very beautiful. And this is Arlo the Apatosaurus. Get this out. Very beautiful. And this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This box is filthy, as you guys can see. It has totally turned yellowish. Because I think this this figure is at least eight years old. Yeah, we, I think we got this in like 2014, probably 2015. So let me just clean this up. You can see the the wet wart is um, turning a little bit yellowish because of the dirt and grease that was accumulated for the past few years because I've kept that um, in the cupboard, never took them out at all. Yeah, it's not working anymore, sadly. Perhaps the battery is, um, is dead, so yeah, maybe after we've changed the batteries, it's, it'll be fine. Who knows? So let me just off this. Cool. Next, let's take a look at this. This is basically, um, you know, Spinosaurus and T-Rex set. Very beautiful set. Very, very beautiful set. Comes with, um, you know, a Spinosaurus, a bipedal Spinosaurus. It's a really beautiful one, I would say. And a T-Rex. 
There are so many different T-Rex from Takara to me, and this is a um, coelacanth, if I'm not wrong, and a nest of eggs. Okay, let's open this. This set is um slightly newer. It comes with a Mosasaurus. This Mosasaurus is actually different from this one. As you guys can see, this one is like much thicker in size. This one is um slimmer. And a very beautiful Velociraptor. Okay, let me clean this up as well. And a red T-Rex. Plenty of thrash, I mean plenty of trash behind me. Let me just clean this up. Okay, next, next set. Another set with um, Mosasaurus. Yeah, we definitely need to remove this because these boxes, they are extremely bulky. So you can see this is um, another Velociraptor, which is a um, really beautiful one. And here is a red T-Rex, which looks amazing. And this is another Mosasaurus, which I think is the same one. Yep, exactly the same. Okay, another set right here. This one also comes with a um, very beautiful T-Rex, I'd say. Comes with a Quetzalcoatlus. Why is why is there like two T-Rex inside the box? That's weird. Yeah, this T-Rex. Oh yeah, I think this T-Rex was actually from a playset. Yeah, I'm just gonna put all of them lying down. This is a Parasaurus. Um, Therizinosaurus, a beautiful one. And this T-Rex is a beautiful one. It's a red, it's a red and um blue T-Rex. Okay, the sculpt is um slightly different from the rest. Very beautiful one. Okay, next we have a couple of, um, you know, figures that um, didn't come in its own individual box. So some of them actually, um, you know, came in um, different play sets. This one is a really beautiful Velociraptor. It is a new figure. A new sculpt as compared to the, the um, older one. So the older one looks slightly cartoonish, but this one looks amazing. Okay, and the next one is this silver T-Rex, guys. This one is a really, really beautiful one. Yeah, so I think this needs to be cleaned up as well. It's kind of um, dirty. I will do another cleanup for every single figure. Yeah. So what I will do next is that I'm gonna line all of them up nicely for a um, beautiful thumbnail. Okay. All right. See you in a while.